The Alamo's future taking shape. Three popular San Antonio businesses now closed because of the expansion of Alamo Plaza. It is the next step in the multi-million dollar makeover at the Texas Shrine. RJ Marquez updates us on the timeline of two new centers at the Alamo site and this massive renovation project. The ride is over for three San Antonio tourist destinations at Alamo Plaza. Last night at 8 o'clock, we shut all the attractions down and everybody was here. It was kind of an emotional moment. Tomb Raider 3D, Ripley's Haunted Adventure, and the Guinness World Records Museum permanently closed to give way to the next step of the Alamo makeover. The eventual Alamo Museum is coming in place of our attractions right here. We had leases into 2028. The state wanted their museum by 2025 or 2026, so we had to sit down and work out an agreement. And as you can see, these popular tourist spots are officially closed, and they have to vacate this building by October 31st. The next step is repurposing the Woolworth and Crockett buildings, and that'll lead the way to the Alamo Visitor Center and Museum. The retail shops that you see around here, Jimmy John's, the t-shirt shop, all of them will be leaving, and then the state is gonna come in here and put the world-class museum that they've been speaking about. The $140 million Visitor Center and Museum will have an event space, a rooftop restaurant, shops, and will be home to the entire Phil Collins Texana collection. But before it's completed, the next step in the overall Alamo expansion is the opening of the Exhibition Hall and Collections Building early next year. Davis Phillips, who owns these three businesses, says it's bittersweet because they anchored the area for years from an economic standpoint. We've sold over 7 million tickets in those 20 years, so while it is sad, I'm focused and preparing on moving forward in the future. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.